Ten Days in Africa is a simple route making game. It plays two to four players ages 10 and up and takes about 20 to 30 minutes per game. Now the goal of the game is to be the first person to chart a 10 day journey across the country. Let's check it out. The game comes with this board of Africa, eight wooden trays, 45 country tiles, and 15 transportation tiles. You begin the game by selecting 10 random tiles, one at a time, and placing them into your board without rearranging until it's full. Make a draw pile with the remaining cards, as well as a starter tile in each of the three discard piles. On your turn, choose a tile from either the draw pile or one of the discard piles and replace it with one of your current tiles. Now what you're trying to do is to connect all 10 of these days into one journey. To do that, bordering countries can be placed next to each other. As you'll see, Tanzania and Mozambique on the map are bordering countries. Also, countries separated by one country on the map can be connected by a car in your tray. So here you see that Kenya and Congo are connected by the car. And on the map, Kenya and Congo are separated by one country. And finally, any two countries of the same color can be connected by a plane of that color. So you have Mozambique and Algeria, which are both orange, and they're connected by an orange plane. So the first person to create a continuous and connecting 10-day journey wins the game. I give 10 Days in Africa a 2 out of 5 stars. It's a neat little concept, but it is fairly chance-based. And because all the countries except for 5 only have one tile, oftentimes you're waiting for one specific tile, someone else has it, and you aren't getting it. But it's great for kids, helps your geography, and you get to know Africa a little better, which I think is pretty cool. So there you have it, 10 Days in Africa.